Hello, welcome to this session of Fortinet Live. I'm Michael O'Brien, Regional Vice President of Managed Service Providers here in the US. And I am pleasure, it's my pleasure to be joined here by Burke Anderson, President and CEO of North Atlantic Networks. Now, NAN, as it's known, is one of our premier partners and has achieved some uh, really advanced specializations from Fortinet. And as part of the Engage program, you know, we want to talk to Burke about how NAN is leveraging those, how those are helping them in the market. And some focus areas for us during the conversation are going to be things like SD-WAN, LAN Edge, SD-Branch, and data center specialties. Uh, things that we really see as an interest to our customers and helping uh, us grow our business mutually with NAN. So, you know, to kick this off, maybe the first thing we can do is ask Burke to spend a little time introducing himself and talk a little bit about NAN and, uh, you know, kind of get a backdrop. So Burke, welcome. And maybe you could kind of share us uh, some information around um, NAN. Sure, I, I, I do appreciate you guys having us on. We really appreciate it. Um, and uh, uh, so, yeah, I'll just uh, jump in, talk, talk a little bit about North Atlantic and, and uh, NAN, if you will, uh, and what we're doing. Um, we've been around since 1994, um, cut our teeth in the dial-up world way back then and have evolved over time to today, um, where we're, uh, our primary focus is on managed security services, uh, clearly with the Fortinet uh, program, uh, engineering basic, uh, you know, uh, centric company. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we fully committed to the, the Fortinet uh, stack of stuff, um, with these certifications, um, and have been very successful doing it. So, um, you know, the, the projects that we're working on now are these digital transformations, uh, filling a void in, in the industry where there's talent out there, uh, and desire by, uh, various companies, uh, if not all companies to uh, up their game when it comes to security. So we've been uh, been very successful with the Fortinet. We appreciate you guys acknowledging that um, and just excited to uh, let the engineers get going and crack open the licenses. So, you know, I could talk forever about us, but uh, we're, uh, we feel very well positioned and very excited about the product and, and the landscape for us. Great. Well, thank you for that. And, you know, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned certifications and you have a very strong technical bench. And I think that is really a recipe for success here at Fortinet with many of our partners. Do you, mm -hmm. Could you share a little bit about some of your thoughts on the Fortinet Engage program, why you made investments there and how you see that helping you in uh, your presentation to your customer? Sure. Um We've clearly had our hands on all, all the various players out there um, over the years. And as we started to uh, zoom in on security practice and the security transformation, um, I, I think one of the first things that caught my eye was, you know, the, the, uh, the value uh, per um, megabyte of scanned data was extremely uh, high. Mm -hmm. and I believe is still very high on Fortinet. So, we uh, we said this is a great great value um, for what what you can do, and that, that was quite a few years ago. Uh, and over time, um, you know, our practice has just started to narrow down and narrow down, and narrow down to the point we said, you know, we we like this, we like the Fortinet product. There's some big companies using it, some government stuff. We said, all right, you know, it's we can certainly bring that to our customers. And then we just started down down the journey to all right, you know. People, we want to prove that we know what we're doing. So let's go get let's go get the uh, let's go get these certifications. Show people we know what's up. Um, we very much have enjoyed, from our perspective, being an engineer company. There's there's an engineer to engineer relationship. And Fortinet, as as uh, Michael, I'm sure you know, didn't start out as a marketing company. They pure engineers with Ken and and the various players that, that started this company. So we really liked that being engineers and uh, being able to talk to other engineers and just the whole mindset of the company was was engineering. So that has grown and, and we've really, you guys have helped to foster that. We get all kinds of resources. Um, the tech stuff is great. And um, 
we've been very successful. We just we, we pick the products. We we think it's we think it's really neat that oh oh SD WAN's already in there or this feature's yeah. already in there, and it's just it's really starting to click together for us. So we're real excited. Yeah, no, that's yeah, you know, that's really some uh, great insight, and I, I can honestly say that you know from a technology perspective, we are a technology company first and foremost, and it shows in our partnerships and um, the collaboration between partners like NAN, which are very technically centric around trying to deliver the best solution to their customers, um, is where we find our best success. And you know, if you think about it from a customer perspective. You know, we hear a lot from the customer and, and certainly digital transformation, as you mentioned, is one of those key areas that they're asking for help. Um, what are some of the other areas that you see your customers coming to and going, hey, I need help in these particular areas? And, you know, what are you looking to solve there? So, well, we the big thing in the market is we, we, we don't have enough people to do this. We don't know how to do it. We've got CMMC or or some of the certification and and where do we start we have this we have this uh um compliance consultant but there's all these things that we need to do and so we're seeing that all the time um we've we generally we've entered in a, uh some engagements after there's been a breach uh where things need to start to get built um and we've come to know that these projects take take not you don't just pop the firewall and it's like we're going down a, we tell our customers we're going on an 18 month 24 month journey um with getting your stuff where it needs to be and mm -hmm. we feel as though with you, you know not, not i mean we just love the fortinet there's a quiver of stuff that you can pull out we've got this we've got this we've got this and we get ahead of ourselves sometimes we have to slow down and say what, what are they what are they trying to accomplish right now um, so we get you know, we get the, the the firewall and some switches, some access points, and stop there and get their their network component uh, built, and then all the other stuff is just it's awesome. I mean, the engineers love it because they get to get a new. Oh, we're doing login for these people today, or or we're, we're, we just fired up the IOC. It's really cool, um, and it, it's just endless. And being engineers, they they just love it, and they get satisfaction when they get these jobs done. And we're doing it with Fortinet. So. Yep. No, I appreciate that. And, you know, it's it's an interesting strategy that Ken and Michael put together very early on with Fortinet around this convergence of networking and security and building a set of products. And, you know, for partners like yourself uh, and it's, you know, it's no, um, I don't want to understate uh, but I can't overstate enough the importance of having partners like NAN who have completed, I think you folks have completed almost every specialization that we have from a certification perspective, which really talks to the level of investment from a technology perspective. But I want to loop back to this concept of a convergence of network and security and get your thoughts on that, how mm -hmm. that's playing out with your customers and in your market. Because uh, I think, you know, we talk about it a lot from a Fortinet perspective, but hearing it first and foremost from uh, yourself and a partner that's, you know, talking to customers every day, I'd love to get your opinion on that. There is a huge uh, convergence between the two. We've seen numerous um, implementations and we generally deal with more enterprise uh, customers mm -hmm. where the network's not right. Um, they might have ripped out some Cisco or something. And, you know, we know that the, the the firewalls have all these capabilities and it's running but it's not quite running right because there's a there's an underlying piece of the network that hasn't been hasn't been set up correctly so you know we we come from a carrier world we we operate a, a small regional uh, carrier here in New England so we get all the networking things and that it turns out you know when we get into an engagement with security clearly we talk about the goals they're trying to get to but we say, What's your network looking like? Because when you bump that network up to a gig, your firewall is going to need to be upgraded. Or when you bring all these sites together, have we looked at the cloud components of what you're doing and what's, what's your link to the cloud? Do you have a direct connect? All those, there's there's a security platform we built, but underneath that, there's a networking platform. And yep. people do struggle with that. So we we are able to, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we're able to add that, that piece and we're able to make the, essentially the firewalls, uh, do what they're supposed to do on the networking side to enable the security stuff to, to function. So yeah. 
you know, access points is another challenge. That's no joke when those things get in and, and get fired up near an airport, say, you know, we need to look at that. And that has nothing to do with, uh, you know, manage, detect, respond. It's about getting the network stable so the rest of it can run. So there is a very big piece that they are kind of one. And it's all part of the same project. Now you can't ignore it. Yeah. No, you know, it's really great insight. And um, it is a... Um, monumental tasks that you partners take on and the particularly NAN on, you know, really bringing that strategy to life and marrying the cybersecurity aspects with the underlying and the networking and mm -hmm. putting those together. So, uh, you know, some really great work that we're working on there. You know, I guess probably my last question, Burke, is, you know, we've got a number of partners like yourselves that are coming into the market. Do you have any advice that you'd want to share with them around, you know, how to engage Fortinet, where you see success and where you see opportunities and and maybe, you know, the importance of being a technically centric and focused uh, partner uh, like yourselves? Yeah, I mean, I, I would uh, again, I would I would say go get the certifications, follow your path. Um, uh, if you have uh, uh, choices, then maybe you want to specialize in SD-WAN if you're a big connectivity player and want to add security to that. But, you know, making the investment, um, there's a, a, a probably a daily webinar with Fortinet you could attend to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great uh, we have a great rep who um, helps us get to the right pieces if we need something really unusual about 5G functionality for the fax unit. We can get that that resource. Um the quoting is quick, you know, so we think it's a great investment to, to use the, the product line. And I mean, we, 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 we're looking at the I, ICSOT. We love that. That's coming. And, and there's a, a SOAR is coming. There's just, a, just, it's, it's like Christmas for the engineers because there's so many cool things to do. So yep. you can't go wrong, I guess is all I could say, Mike. You can't go yeah. wrong. Just jump in there. Yep. No, I appreciate that. You know, and that's, you know, the vision of this whole fabric story. Uh, and you know, we can't thank enough uh, for the efforts of you and your engineers over at NAN and you know, really working with us to integrate that and bring that out to customers. And, um, and Burke, I wanna thank you for taking the time to you know, chat with us and covering uh, you know, what is NAN doing and how are you uh, talking to your customers and what are you seeing in the market? Um, we greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day for that. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of our audience, you know, if you want to learn more about the Engage program, uh, you can go to Fortinet.com and get all the information on uh, how to be a Fortinet partner and how to get access to some of the world-class training that we do and deliver through our NSC um, organization. And we encourage you to do that. So, Burke, again, thank you. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you on another session soon. Very good. Thanks for having us, Michael. We appreciate it.